Here's how you know a relationship is a good relationship for you. It makes you feel better about yourself, not worse. It makes you feel more loved. So if you are not getting those things, it's a relationship you can't be in. Here is today's case. Bryce and Anthony met three years ago at a professional dancing audition. And after complimenting one another on their moves, they danced into each other's hearts. Bryce says he feels completely used and hurt by Anthony, and he will be two steps in his way out of court as a single man today in divorce court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Misha from Atlanta, Georgia. Misha, welcome to Divorce Court. We are so happy to have you with us. Your Honor, today's case is Speaker versus Ranchez. Thank you, Juan. Bryce Speaker. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Anthony Ranchez. Yes, Your Honor. To court today, you are suing for $1,800, the value of a riding horse you say he sold without your permission. Yes, Your Honor. I understand the two of you were in a relationship for two years. Yes, Your Honor. And now this issue has caused a lot of contention between the two of you. And you're here on divorce court to tell me about what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll start with you, sir. Give me some background. So my relationship with Anthony um, has changed quite a bit. Um, we've been together for two years. When we first met, Anthony was in the closet to his family. Um, he wasn't out to his family. He was living a double life, if you will. Um, he would drive hours and hours to hang out with me. He would leave his family. He would stay away for weeks at a time. He would, you know, he would use all my funds, my house, my resources, my vehicles, all the things like that. Um, he reached out to his family via phone call to come out to them. Um, they didn't take it well. From then, you know, they said some things that were unforgivable. Um, we moved into my house. So that's with how my the two parents. of you end up moving in together. Yes, so we quick. moved in with my parents um, on the farm, rent free, you know. Okay, well, before, you, before you go into any other details, I want to hear from Mr. Ranches. Is that what happened? Is that how you ended up moving in? Yes, with Your him Honor. And his parents? Okay, give me some background. We moved in together, and Bryce really did show me the way of like being openly gay in front of his family and how that was okay, and really helped me. Um, in my journey, if you will. Do you have a better relationship with your family now? No, Your Honor, I haven't talked to them since mm. I came out. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. <laughs> it turned out for the better. So when you moved out and you moved in with Mr. Speaker, the two of you were dating. Yes, So Your you Honor. were in a relationship. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> and how long after you met did the two of you end up living under the same roof? We softly dated for the first year. I would drive, I would lie to my parents and drive hours away just mm -hmm. to hang out with him and his family. Mm -hmm. And then after that year, you, you, you came out to your family and you moved in with him? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Did you get along with Mr. Speaker's family? Yes, ma'am. You did? Okay. They were very accepting of me. Well, good for you. So the two of you have this relationship, but things don't go well. Eventually, what happened? We are professional dancers. Hmm. So we have an agent that represents us. Um, so when we first started, Anthony, you know, he was new. I'm a little more seasoned. I've, I'm a little older. I've been in the industry a little bit longer from, so I gave him some advice. You know, he takes my advice the wrong way, like I'm demanding things. But all I said was there is a few people, this one particular agent that you should be watching out for because they exploit new people in the industry and sometimes they don't always put their best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm out of town. I work a lot, a lot of jobs. So I'm traveling back and forth from state to state on set, off set. He lied to me and said he was going to go to get a job interview because he hasn't been making any money for months and months and months at this time. Mm -hmm. So he went to this job interview. He was gone for three hours. MIA, no call, no text, nothing. I said, you know, send him good luck. How are you doing? Like, what's going on? Like, what's tea? Like, what's happening? Like, how's the job? Are you going to make money? Like, woohoo. No, nothing. Ghost. Come to find out, he was doing a shoot where he was removing his clothes with this exact agent that I told him not to be with. Your Honor, I actually did no such thing. I went to talk to an agent that Why he did. Why did he think you did? I got a text message after he was supposed to be done and said, the cameraman wasn't even that bad. Don't tell Bryce I went. Your I Honor. decided that going to this agency was a good connection for me to have in the industry. But um, just to come to find out that he did scam me out of my money and I haven't received any information. So he was right? Mm -hmm. He was right. From the beginning? Yes, Your Honor. Now, did, did he exploit you in the photo shoot? No, ma'am. I never agreed to We haven't to seen the take... photo, so we don't know. 
I oh. never Your Honor. agreed to take my clothes off. None, none of that ever happened. So you haven't seen the photos, but they, been, they may be out there somewhere. No, Your Honor. He doesn't so know. I, I actually was excited about filming some of my own choreo mm -hmm. so that I could submit it off for job opportunities and just... So you shot a video? Yes, ma'am. Where you were dancing, and that's what he was helping you shoot? Yes, ma'am. You, but you haven't seen the video footage yet? No, ma'am, and okay. Bryce, of all people, should know how much goes into making so a video that's and one of, But that's process. one of the issues, because he gave you some money and specifically gave you some advice not to go to this particular agency, and the thing he warned you about actually happened. Not even that, Your Honor. I'm giving him money, $250 for this one instance, to be exact, for groceries, for feed, for gas, for things to take care of the things that we need. So not only do I pay for all of that, I pay for everything always, Your Honor. He's literally been a moocher and a freeloader since the day we started dating. At mm. first, I didn't really think of it as much because of the situation that we were in. But since then, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. I'm literally doing all the work. You make all your money from dancing as yes. a professional dancing dancer? dancing and teaching, Your Honor. And what about you? Majority dancing, but I recently have gotten a job at a convenience store while taking care of the What are you doing horses. at the convenience store? I make the food. Okay. So, and the two of you submitted video. You want to show me footage of what you do for a living? Absolutely, Your Let Honor. Let me see the video. <laughs> it's really good. Yes, it is. <laughs> who's, in the, who's in the blue sweatshirt? That was you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Both of you are, are, are really good. That was dancing Thank together. You, you choreographed yeah. that yourself? I choreographed that. Would things have been totally different if he'd been giving you some money along the way? Yes, that would be great. He could have not spent my money that I've been giving him for dance classes mm -hmm. on exotic dancing. Mm -hmm. And I see on Instagram that he's butt naked being a little exotic dancer. How many forms of dance do you do, Mr. Ranchez? to the audition that you went on recently. You went on an audition. Both of you auditioned for the same position. What happened with that? Well, Your Honor, I was actually on a job prior to the audition, and I found out that it was ended a day early. So I was able to go to the audition with Bryce. And what kind of audition was it? It was a dance audition, and I, I had seen him practicing in the backyard, and I, I just knew that I had a really good shot at it just because mm -hmm. of the style and the music that it was, I just thought it would be good for us to double our odds and get this money. Mm -hmm. You both auditioned, and what happened? Your Honor, before the audition, um, Anthony was not supposed to go to the audition. We had an agreement, because sometimes these things come up. Anthony was busy, already booked. He went behind my back and reached out to our agent when his job got canceled so he could audition for the same exact role that he had been watching me prepare for. Mm. Did you do that? Um, well, Your Honor, we were both preparing the same way, and when you're at the audition, I guess I was just, I guess I was just what they were looking for that day. Would things have been totally different if he'd been giving you some money along the way and providing more for himself? That's what you're saying? Your Honor, he could have provided money. Your Honor, yes, that would be great. He could have not spent my money that I've been giving him for dance classes. Mm -hmm. I gave him money to train in ballet to take classical tra training classes, and I see on Instagram that he's butt naked doing someone's pole waxing, being a little. Exotic dancer for exercise. You're exotic dancing now too, Mr. Ranch? How many forms of dance do you do, Mr. Ranch? I'm trying well, to find out, Your Honor, as we well. We pride Thank ourselves you. in being very versatile and whatever the job may need. So you've just added to your I versatility. I've never worked on the pole, Your, Your Honor. I've, <laughs> you can dance in heels though. I've never been a stripper, never planned on being a stripper. Um, I just saw it as a harmless way to stay active and mm -hmm. keep working on my craft and that's what I saw. Expanding your repertoire. Yes, ma'am. I understand. So what happens? You end up leaving. You had a, you have another job. You're now working in Atlanta. Am I right? Yes. The last and where three where are you, sir? I've been living at the house with okay. my family. Well, your family doesn't have a problem with it. They are very open and honest, and they love him. They love us. They'll take care of him. So they've been. So very what do you grateful. do when you go back home and the two of you are breaking up? They support me because I'm the baby. What's tea? I'm the baby. They're my parents. So, I mean, if you're living at my parents' house and you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Your Honor, he has been very he kind says, to me and everything he's done has been out of the kindness of his heart. But he knew the situation when we first got together and I have grown a lot. How long have you been living help. with this family? 
Um, about six months. Six months. Okay, so it's only been six months. And now the relationship between the two of you took uh, quite a nasty turn. What happened? Because you're suing for $1,800 for your riding horse. What do you say happened to the horse and why do you say he owes for it, sir? So I have a prized horse that is in our family. I just purchased him. Um, we owned his grandmother. And it's just, you know, it's a really important horse for our family. So our horses and our family are like dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, dogs are people too, horses are people too to us. He sent me a video saying that he's gonna sell my horse. For what reason? To get back at me for kicking him out. Did you sell the horse? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I did. While he was out of town, the man was still interested in buying him, so I sold him for $1,800. Not only did he sell my horse, he gave a sentimental saddle to us that's been in our family for over 15 years that my grandma rode in. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Did you sell the horse? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I did. Bryce has been out of town for three months. And three months before that, we bought this horse for him. I've been taking care of the horse these past three months, and Bryce has actually expressed to me that he maybe wants to get rid of the horse. So I took it into my own hands and sped up this process. I messaged the other potential buyer while he was out of town, and the man was still interested in buying him, so I sold him for $1,800. Did you get his permission? Did you have a conversation with him before he sold the horse? No, ma'am, but I saw that if, I thought that if I was taking care of the horse and spent just as much time with him. Well, that's not what you Bryce thought. Did. I submitted a video to and the And so court, you didn't think that you should have asked him first. You're let, right. Let me, let me You're see right, the video Your evidence. Oh, uh, hey, Jasper. Mr. Flynn, look at you. You all ready to go to your new home? Are you excited? Yeah, they're gonna be here soon. Say goodbye to Bryce. Bye. Say bye. Now, Mr. Ranches. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Now, you know you was petty, being petty in that video, sir. Mm -hmm. You yes, recorded. Tea. Not only did you sell the horse, right. but you made a recording of it to send to him to rub it in his face. So, that, so it was worth $1,800 I bought the horse ruin. for $2,000, Your Honor. You sold it for $1,800? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you didn't, even, you didn't even break even. Why would you want to do that to him? What were you so upset about? Well, three days before this, we had gotten into an argument where I expressed to Bryce that I had fallen out of love with him. And at that point, Bryce told me, you know, get out of my house, um, don't talk to me again. And once I knew he was serious and after hearing the hurtful things he had to say about me, I decided that I wanted to hurt him back. Not only did he sell my horse, he gave this man, whoever bought the horse, I have no idea, a sentimental saddle to us that's been in our family for over 15 years that my grandma rode in. That is something that I felt bad about. So I have talked to the man that bought the horse about potentially selling him the horse and the saddle back, so. Oh, so you, you went the extra mm -hmm. mile so he can buy his horse back after you sold it? How generous of you. Well, I'll pay you back on my next job. You'll pay me back. Well, he's, sir, got a, right he's got now, an ongoing IOU, so. Sir, you're right, honor, right we, now you're, you're, you're making money. food at that. the convenience store. How long is it going to take for you to get another two thousand dollars? How right. many hot dogs do you have to make? Mm. Well, it's going to be the equivalent of two thousand dollars. Okay. I still work as a professional dancer. That's. I'm just saying. That's two thousand dollars. It's a lot Can't of money. Can't work if you're offbeat, Your Honor. The saddle wasn't a part of the sale, <laughs> correct? It was the horse that you were selling. Yes, Your Honor. But I also sold the saddle in the. The process. saddle was okay, just well, a low blow, Your Honor. Okay. Well, you didn't have a right Honor. to do that. You didn't have a right to do that. Who'd you, you sell know. the horse to? The other potential buyer. But you have the contact information, right? Yes, ma'am. Where's the contact information for that person? In my phone. Okay, after court, I want you to give the contact information for the buyer to my bail of one. I hope that Mr. Speaker is able to contact this person and you can have a conversation with him. Let me hope. I'll write a letter on your behalf so Thank he can you. get the saddle back that belongs in his family to his grandmother. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Speaker, why are you so upset? Because he said he didn't want to be in a relationship anymore. Your Honor, I'm... I think I'm the most upset because from the start, we knew what the relationship was. I took the training wheels off his bike and gave him his, you know, his confidence to go and to be confident and be open and be out there. I gave him my family. I gave him a home. I gave him a vehicle. I gave him everything. Mm. We loved him. We, my family included, we loved him. We took him under our wing. But he didn't lie to you about anything. 
He, he just was didn't honest. Do his part, let let me tell you something. One and I sit in this courtroom every day. Do you know how many people, instead of being truthful and say they don't want to be in a relationship anymore, they just stay in their relationship and then go on and do what they want to do, lie, cheat, go behind the back, do all those things? He's one person who actually had a conversation with you and said, you know what, I don't think I want to be in this relationship anymore. Of course. That's when a moocher gets their mooching abilities taken away, they don't want to mooch no more. They want to bounce to the next one. That's not what he said he wanted to do. He didn't say he wanted, he didn't want to be your friend. He didn't say he didn't want to have anything to do with your family. He didn't say he was bouncing, pirouetting to the next one. He I just wasn't, said he, just he didn't his want next to be in the relationship. Honor. That's what he's looking I for. Wasn't he's I wasn't cut him off. He's looking for his next come up. He's a Mi moocher. He's Mr. the person Mr. that follows, Mi follows somebody who will help him, and he rides it until he can't ride no more. And now he's got to ride his way out because he's done. I'm done. Wait, did you actually move out of the home? No, Your Honor. I'm still living at the house. He's still living with your parents. For free, Your Honor. But you're upset. You're calling him a moocher, a freeloader, all of these names. Your parents actually like him because he's still living there. Right. Mr. Speaker, sounds like you got a personal problem to me. I submitted a video, Your Honor. What other video evidence? <laughs> do the two of you have for court today? I hope it's not another horse. It's actually of me at the house after I was kicked out. So, I'm just letting you know that I'm still living at the house even though Bryce kicked me out. The audacity of him kicking me out when he knows I have nowhere else to go. But I'm still here. Mr. Ranches, obviously, you're still living with the parents. So, at some point, he's going to find out. But you want to document it for court? Well, Your Honor, he has said some pretty hurtful things to me, so it was just my way of um, hurting him back. What did he say that was so hurtful to you? Just that he knew that I didn't have anywhere else to go or just that he wanted me out of the house. It was a kind of a shock to me to hear it. Was he calling you a mooch? Yes, ma'am. And a freeloader? Yes. And those things hurt you? Yes, ma'am. And he's at the house by himself when well, he got kicked out. Well, but he hasn't not, asked to stay there. But it's not your house. If he's so bad, that's a conversation you have to have with him. But if your parents are not requiring him to move and they're still allowing him to live there because, as he said, he doesn't have anywhere to go, that's their decision. That's their choice. You're upset because the relationship is over, but he's still living in your home. Your Honor, why home. would he want to stay in my house? Because he why? does not why have... Why would he want to stay in the house where no one wants you there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why because I, I think you already know, but just in case, I'm going to spell it out for you. He's in a difficult time in his life. What he did was absolutely wrong. You owe him $2,000 for the value of the horse. In addition, I'm going to order you to provide the contact information of the person you sold it to to my bailiff Juan after the show. He owes you that money. Otherwise, the living situation, I believe him when he said he has not spoken to his family since he came out. This is six months ago. So he is in a difficult, transitional time in his life. That is why he is still there. If you have that much of a problem with it, talk to your parents. But I think they're giving him time to figure out some things in his life. My okay. judgment is in your favor in the amount of $2,000. Good luck to both of you. I feel that the verdict was in my favor for the financial purpose of the horse, but I don't know why he wants to be at my house. I just want him to leave and leave and just leave. T, why are you still there? I feel like the verdict was pretty fair in the sense that she wants to give me more time and I do feel bad about selling the saddle and the sentimental value that it had, so. All right, Mr. Ranchez, as uh, Judge Faith advised you, I'm gonna need that information for the saddle. Yes, sir. Of course, when I ask, he doesn't know where the phone number is. You better give him that number. Thank you. Don't worry, we'll get your saddle back. I right. hope so.